Too. We are back again today for another episode of Bauer Family Learns, where I teach a game to a member of my family. Today it's my seven-year-old son, Sean, Hi. and I'm going to teach him today how to play cross clues and also teach you at the same time. So this is the new one from Blue Orange Games. It's for two to six players. Age is seven plus. It'll take about ten minutes to play. But actually, if you're playing the easy mode, which we will be doing, it will only take you exactly five minutes to play and you have this nice little five minute timer right here so in cross clues this is a game where we are working together to try and get as many points as possible in our particular game we're going to try to get nine points uh, if you get eight or more points you get awesome six to seven good uh, four to five average and less than four you failed so that's how the scoring is going to work there it's just you're trying to beat yourself all right so how we're going to do that is by putting all these cards out in the correct location. So A, B, C, you see that this is the two row, this is the one row. We were working on this a little bit before we shot this video. But if you had all those cards in their correct positions, you would have the best score and you would be the ultimate champion of the game. So that's what you're trying to do. But how you get these on here is where the game gets interesting, all right? So at the beginning of the game, you're gonna take out any of the ones you're not going to use. So for instance, if you were playing the more advanced version of the game, you could go all the way up to uh, E5, which essentially means there's 25 spots to put cards out. It's really, really hard, uh, really difficult, especially with that time limit. You're gonna take out all these cards right here so that all you have is A1 through three, B1 through three, and C1 through three, which we happen to have right here, okay? Now, once we flip the Sam timer, the game will start. And there are no turns in this game. I could take 10 turns in a row. You could, well, there's only nine turns. But I could take four turns in a row if it was helping the team. Now, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to draw cards. And you're going to have two cards that you're going to be keeping secret. So these might be your two cards. They would be A3 and B3. So right now, what you would be doing, you'd be looking at these cards. And you'd be looking at A3, which is Moon and School. And B3, which would be beach in school. And you would be trying to think of a clue that would uh, help you figure out what beach school might be. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult. So I'll give you an example of one. So let's pretend that instead it was cake and bicycle for B3. And I might say birthday. And you say, hmm, birthday. Well, let's see. Moon, snow, probably not birthday. Moon, wood, probably not birthday. Moon, cake. You know what? Birthdays, there's nothing about moons that makes me think of birthdays, right? But then you say, bicycle, okay. Bicycle, snow, probably not birthday, right? Bicycle, wood, doesn't make sense. Bicycle, cake. Hey, both of those, is, there's things that might be at a birthday, right? So that's how you got to give those clues. You got to get kind of sneaky. Now, uh, I'm going to mix these up. We're actually going to flip these around because we've been looking at these for a while. And I don't want them to get stale. So let's make sure we know all the stuff. Uh, I think that butter one might be a little bit hard for you. You don't know much about butter, do you? No. All right, so we'll stick with jungle. All right. So here is how the game is going to work. We're each going to get two of these cards. All right, Sean? Oh, well, yeah, we need these cards. We're each going to get two of these cards. In a uh, four, five, or six-player version of the game, you only have one card. We're going to be able to have two. Do not let me see these cards. All right? Don't look at them yet. Once I flip the sand timer, the game will start. You are going, if you think you have a clue, you're just going to say, wait, I got a clue. And you're going to say the clue. And then I have to guess the coordinate on your card. So if you said a clue, uh, I might be like B2. And if the B2 card is in your hand, bam, you put it on B2. It's great for us. If the B2 card is not what's in your hand, let's say it's something else. You take that card. You don't show it to me. And we discard it. That's a point we didn't earn. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Ready? Are you set? Yeah. Are you going? Yeah. Let's go. We got five minutes. Stay up, timer. Okay. No, no, no. no. Give me, I'm getting a couple seconds back because this timer, there we go. Felt table. All right. What do we got? Hmm. I got a clue. All right. What's your clue? Wait, no, I don't. There okay. We go. Okay, I got a clue. You ready? Mm -hmm. Jim. Jim. A3. A3, yeah. Ball, school, boom. They make me think of Jim. So now I draw another card, and if you have a clue, you give a clue. If not, I keep looking for clues I as well. Look, you got it Okay, I got one. You ready? Yeah. Popped. 
Pop. Popped. Now with the clues, there can only be one word. I think I said that, but I wanted to specify. A2. It is A2, brother. Pop that Touch. ball with the pan. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Don't pat yourself on the back too hard. Remember, we're, we're still going. Keep thinking about your stuff. All right. This doesn't, none of my stuff mm. makes any sense. Well, just try your best. And, is, and sometimes... What could be, but... Sometimes you just got to give out it's kind of bad clues. Maybe it just connects to one of them. I don't know. At least then I got a one in three shot of doing it. Uh, ooh, this is hard. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Okay. Winter. Hmm. So I'm thinking snow. But then I don't know if it's jungle, camera, or ball. I don't think winter really makes me think of jungle. I just don't think of jungle when I think of winter ever. So it's either B1 or A1. Let's see. Snowball or camera ball. I'm going to go with camera. I think of the winter. I'm going to have pictures out. Taking pictures of B1. Nope. All right. So it's wrong. Put it face down over here. Don't let me see it. Don't let me see it. Maybe put, put it from face down so we can't see it. Yep. That is now out of the game. You draw a new one. Not a big deal. And we keep on trucking. All right. I had a clue and then I forgot it. Uh, oh, no. Why is it? Okay, you ready? Purse. Hmm. Probably not jungle. <laughs> no, definitely not. I shouldn't be laughing because that might be giving me clues, but it's hard. Hmm. What in the world? Purse. Is the clue? Um. What is this? Oh. <laughs> this game is fun. We gotta convince mommy to play this. I think she'd like it. Because the other thing is, with more players, you can talk about it. So you would be talking with someone else and saying, oh, I think it might be this or that. So you can bounce ideas off of each other. Because um, people's brains work all sorts of different ways. I think it's going to be... Purse. What you going with? Two something. Okay. So it can't be A2, so it's either B2 or C2. So it's either camera pen or jungle pen, if you're line of thinking. Um, B2? Boo yeah! B2! Camera and pen might find them in a purse, I thought. Alright, here we go. Huh. I got a one. Go for it. Um. Photographer. Okay, okay. Um. B3. Yeah. Boo yeah! So you put the B3 card out? I was thinking, like, uh, when you have picture date, your school and the photographer comes in. That's yeah, what I thought. Oh, last card. So we got to make sure we give out these four clues before time runs out. Um, uh, blizzard. Snow. It has to be something. But is it snowball, snow camera, or snow jungle? Um. Uh, this is. Well, you got to guess, man. We're running out of time. Take a stab. A1. No. All right. All right. Do you have a clue? <laughs> Teacher. A school pen. No, I can't do that. Uh, A3? A3 is already been guessed. Oh, uh, yeah. The only one that has school left is C3. But that, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you gotta, you gotta guess though. C three. Yes, yeah, so it C three. Why would there be a? Because I was just trying to, because I saw that nothing else connected with school, which meant that that was the only thing that you would think of was the school category, and then I don't know. What? It might have technically been cheating, but let's check it out. Let's see how we did. We got five, maybe four and a half. So. Well, <clears throat> let's say we got four and a half, and we are between failed and averaged. Would you like to try one more game of it? <laughs> yeah, this <coughs> is fun. All right, so we will try one more game, and we'll change up all of our words. We'll completely get... Can you mix up those cards right there? Bum, 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 bum. 
ba da ba 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 da. Alright. One, two, three! Okay. Is all the real. Jail. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Cold. Or no, we'll go with, I want to go with mean. Who's going to be mean? Mean chicken. <laughs> you all right there, buddy? <laughs> so funny. Uh, ugly. That's not nice. Mean, ugly. Uh, mean, ugly duck. <laughs> Do you want to hang out with the jail chicken spaceship or the mean ugly duck? Uh, jail chicken spaceship. All right, are we ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, we probably should shuffle all the cards the right way. Like a noob, I did not do that. All right, here we go. Here's your two cards. Don't look at them yet. Here's my two cards. I'll put the rest right here. On your mark, get set. Look at your cards. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Birds. Um. Be free. Bingo. Yeah, that was a nice easy one, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Fell into my lap. My, this doesn't. I know. <laughs> Tell me. I had, I had jungle school. I feel your pain. <laughs> um. <laughs> of the. Uh... Got a one? Trap. Trap. Um, duck jail, no. Ugly jail, mean <laughs> jail, chicken mean. Chicken ugly. Spaceship trap, ugly mean. What's trap? Jail. Do I think of jail? No. Duck. I think of ducks. I think of birds. Chickens get started in traps. Chicken. So then it's, maybe it's spaceship jail. Trap is jail is like a trap. C3. Was it? Nice. All right, put it down. Jail duck. <laughs> oh. So put it back down. So put it on the spot and then draw a new card. Yep, C3. Nice one, dude. Our brain was connected there. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay, I got one. Moldy. Um. Hmm. Ugly chicken? B2. It is B2. Ugh, that. Oh, no! What? I actually didn't have B2. Uh, so how do we want to do this? Do we want, we, how about we just say, uh, since we're doing really good, we take this time penalty of us discussing that, and we just say that, that uh, you just can't use moldy for ugly chicken. You cool with that house rule? Yeah. All right, because, yeah, I thought I had B2. Oh, but now I don't. So now, back mm -hmm. to the game. Oh. Hmm. Astronaut? Alright. Spaceship. Is the astronaut ugly, or is the astronaut mean? <laughs> I don't think the astronaut's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the astronaut mean or ugly? <laughs> I'm I'm hoping he's not ugly. I'm hoping he's just mean. I'm gonna go with a a oh no, you don't know. I'm gonna go a two. No. Oh, it's not ugly. Spa okay, so put that one face down. That's a point we lose, and then draw another card. Okay, let's see. What we got? Uh, all right, you ready, Captain? Um. <coughs> A1? Boo yeah! The captain's so mean. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is it? Uh... Um. Prisoner? Prisoner. <laughs> Ooh, but is he mean or is he ugly? <laughs> He's probably mean. He's in prison. That means he might be mean. I'm going to go C1. Yeah. Booyah. Mm. C1. Right. Put it on there. Nope. C1 right down there. Oh, run out of time. No, draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. Ah. Let's see. Let's see. Last card. Um, 
Last card! Um, astronaut! You can't use the same word again. Oh, That's one of the uh, rules that uh, I think I forgot to mention. Mm. No, I mentioned it. I think. Uh, but, uh, buffalo! <laughs> what you got? What you got? You gotta take a guess. B2! Not B2. It was a different card, so put that over there. Alright. You got anything? Pet? Pet. Chicken. Ugly. Duck. Spaceship. Chicken. Ugly. Uh, B. D -d 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 no. What? D A3. Yeah. Boom. Spaceship duck. Is the best pet. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. And I, that, we are out of time. And we did better, though. Instead of getting four and a half, we got a legitimate five. Let's see how much that is. Uh, yeah, I think that means where the rules go. It is not failing. Average, you have a basic understanding of how the other player thinks. But there you go. That is cross clues from Blue Orange Games. What did you think about it? <laughs> like... We could have done camel. We could have done a lot of things. Yeah, there's tons of other cards camel over here. Camel. So I. <laughs> so Sean, I'm assuming you're a fan of this game. Yeah. And there's. And look, this this is tons and tons. These are just four for each one of these cards. Probably forty cards. You're never Child. gonna get the same combination. Can you? Glasses. So. If you're enjoying what we're doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe Ocean. button down below. Buddy, would you want to play this again with mommy? <laughs> yeah. You're kind of getting focused on that. Uh, what did you like about the game? I liked, um, I liked how fun it was, like, intense. It was so intense, like. So you like the timed aspect? Yeah. Was that intense? Yeah. Yeah? Did you, uh, did you like not having the pressure of giving a clue? Did you like it so that I, you could really think about your clue yeah. before you gave it? Yeah, I think that's, there's another very popular game called Code Names, which this is kind of similar to. Uh, but in codes names, it's very, very stressful. Even for, like, me. And I don't get stressed out that much. Like, I'm still like, oh, everybody's waiting on me to go. And then if you give a clue and nobody gets it, you feel like a dummy. But it's still a fun a game. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But that is Cross Clues from Blue Orange Games. Uh, really enjoyed this one on game night. We got a Thoughts from the Corner on this one. We really liked it an awful lot. Uh, this is a spectacular game. I cannot recommend this game enough. Cross Clues. If it looks like it might be for you, I think you're really going to enjoy it. If you enjoy what we're doing, please sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Do you have a question for the people in the comments down below? Uh, if you had to, if you had to go somewhere in some place, it, it could even be crazy or something in some place. What would it be? What would it be for you? Uh, meeting a dog. In the ocean? <laughs> that that certainly would fit under that category. I'm going to go with sailing in outer space wearing duck pants. What? So, duck there'll be pants that look like um, the duck legs. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. What?